how to attract women when you don't have money. <laughs> so if you want to get women, you need to have a lot of money, right? Wrong. Very wrong. Now, while having money can certainly make some things easier, it's important to remember that wealth is not the only factor that can attract women, else rich men will never be divorced. In this video, I'll share five tips for attracting women even if you don't have a lot of money. My name is Jessica. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. To answer this question, allow me to break down what really makes men attractive to women. Number one, confidence. So confidence is one of the most attractive qualities a man can have, right? And I can't overemphasize this. It doesn't mean being arrogant or boastful, but rather having a quiet sense of self-assurance and belief in oneself. I've seen guys with nothing to their name, and I mean nothing but a confident personality, walk away with some of the most interesting women. When you're confident, you project a sense of self-assurance, a belief in yourself, which can be appealing to women. Confident men tend to be more assertive and decisive, which can make them more effective in social situations. Their steps are assured, and it doesn't take them long to make decisions. When you're confident, you're believable. When you're a confident man, you tend to have a positive outlook on life, which can be infectious and can be inspiring. Furthermore, confidence is often seen as a sign of competence. When you exude competence, you give off the impression that you're capable, you're competent, which can be very attractive to women. And remember, women don't like losers, right? Even if it's just a perception, they'll avoid you like a plague. Number two, kindness. So listen, kindness is another trait that many women find attractive. Trust me when I say it's not all about being generous when it comes to money only. A man who is kind, is compassionate, he's caring, he's empathetic, and such a man is appealing to women. Kindness is often seen as an attractive trait because it reflects a person's ability to be empathetic and compassionate and caring, like I already said. When someone is kind, they show consideration for other people's feelings, for other people's needs and well-being, which can be very appealing, right? Name one of the biggest philanthropists in the world, and I can bet you that they have a lot of attention from many people, especially women. Kindness is also associated with a positive character trait such as generosity, such as honesty, such as humility. When you exhibit these qualities, it makes you more likable and more trustworthy. And furthermore, guess what? Research has shown that acts of kindness have a positive impact on our well-being. When we perform acts of kindness, our brains release feel-good hormones like oxytocin, which can boost your mood and make you feel happier. When women hang around you, they also experience the benefits of what's going on with you. I mean, really, think about it. Who wouldn't want to be with someone who makes them feel good all the time, right? Number three, a sense of humor. Being able to make others laugh and having a lighthearted approach to life makes men appealing. For instance, when it comes to social bonding, humor is a powerful tool, right? Because you're building social connections, you're creating a sense of shared experience. When people share a laugh together, it can create a feeling of camaraderie, of closeness, right? Humorous people have a positive outlook on life. They're more likely to see the bright side of things. This can make them more pleasant to be around and create a positive, uplifting atmosphere. Humor is also often associated with people with intelligence and creativity. People who are able to come up with clever jokes and witty remarks are often seen as more intelligent and interesting than most, right? When you have a good sense of humor, it's stress relieving. Laughter has been shown to have a variety of health benefits, including reducing stress, boosting your immune system. You know, being around a man who can make you laugh can help to alleviate stress and create a sense of relaxation, a sense of well-being. Developing a good sense of humor can take some effort and can take some practice, but that's what this video is about. Let me help you in quick ways that you can develop your humor. You need to be observant, number one, right? Good sense of humor uh, often comes off as being observant and noticing funny or unusual things that are happening around you, right? So try to pay attention to the world around you and look for the humor in the small things. Number two, I'll say is practice telling jokes. And it doesn't have to be that deep, you know? Look for clean, appropriate jokes online, in books, you know, in other people's jokes. Practice telling them to friends and family. Another tip would be read funny material, you know? Books, articles, you know, watch funny videos. It can help you develop your sense of humor and improve your ability to recognize and appreciate different types of humor that's available. Watch TV shows or comedy shows, stand-up comedy, sitcoms, right? To get a better understanding of what types of humor 
you know, people find funny. You can also be willing to laugh at yourself. Don't take yourself too seriously. It's, I mean, and it's an important part of developing a good sense of humor, right? Don't take yourself too seriously. Be willing to laugh at yourself and your shortcomings. You laugh at yourself, others will too. Practice improvisation. Improvisation exercises can help you to develop your ability to come up with funny responses on the spot, okay? Now, the fourth thing that makes men attractive to women is intelligence. Intelligence is fantastic. Listen, a man who's well-read, well-informed, able to engage in thoughtful conversations is going to be very appealing. They have something called intellectual curiosity, right? They tend to be more curious and interested in learning new things, and this can make them more engaging. This can make them have stimulating conversations with people. They have great problem-solving abilities, making them more effective at dealing with challenges and overcoming obstacles, right? Intelligent men tend to be more successful in their careers and other areas of life, and that makes them more attractive to women who are looking to settle or looking for a man who's ambitious or successful, right? And finally, number five is physical appearance. Now, while it's important not to reduce a man's attractiveness solely to his physical appearance, it's also true that physical appearance plays a big role on how attractive someone is perceived to be, right? So if you have good grooming, you look fit, you have a symmetrical facial feature. Physical appearance is important when it comes to a lot of things like first impressions, right? Because people tend to form judgments about others based on their appearance and these initial impressions can be very difficult to change, right? You never get a second chance to create a first impression. Self-esteem, feeling good about one's appearance can help to boost your self-confidence and create a positive self-image which rubs off other people. Health, people who are physically fit and healthy tend to look more attractive and often perceived as being more vibrant and energetic, you know? In some societies, physical appearance can be a marker for social status or even success. People who are perceived as attractive or fashionable, for instance, are oftentimes viewed as more successful or influential, whether they are or not. Right? Finally, physical appearance can play a role in attraction when it comes to romantic relationships, right? People are often attracted to others who they find physically attractive, and physical appearance can be an important factor in determining whether or not a romantic relationship will develop. So there you have it. Confidence, kindness, sense of humor, intelligence, physical appearance. These are the five things that are so critical, right? And now that you know these, what you need to do is to go ahead and cultivate your personality. It's your personality and your character that will ultimately make you stand out. So work on developing positive traits, especially like the ones that I mentioned earlier. And also make that move, show interest in her. Women appreciate men who show genuine interest. You know, ask her questions, listen attentively when she speaks. Uh, listen to her responses, show that you actually care about her as a person. And finally, you want to be creative. Even if you don't have money, there are plenty of creative and inexpensive date ideas that can just be enjoyable, be as enjoyable as any other, right? Go for a hike, picnic, cook at home. You know, there's so many things. Think through it. Now, let me wrap up this video. Listen, it's important to remember that every person is unique and has their own individual preferences when it comes to attraction, right? While the traits I've mentioned in this video are commonly seen as attractive, there are also many qualities that people may find appealing as well. Now, ultimately, being true to yourself and treating others with respect and kindness can go a long way to making you attractive. So don't worry about not having money today. That's, that's a temporary situation, right? You're broke, you're not poor. If you're poor, it's like, it's, it's, it sounds more permanent, but you're broke. So for now, you do not have the money, but it doesn't mean that you can't win the women. All you need to do is to develop all these um, important skills and characteristics that I just spoke about, and you should be good. Good luck with finding the one that you deserve. My name is Jessica, thanks for watching this video. If you find it beneficial, you know what to do, smash the like button, don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one, cheers.